Tonight, the city of Minneapolis is working on its next budget. The council's budget committee plans to send its recommendations to Mayor Jacob Fry for consideration this month. Renee Cooper is live in Minneapolis with the spending priority city leaders are hoping to fund next year. Lindsay, this is just the beginning of a rather lengthy process to formulate a budget for the 2025 fiscal year. But today's discussion gives us that first glimpse into how council members in Minnesota's largest city want to spend tax dollars. The item most listed as a priority by Minneapolis council members is doubling the city's spending on efforts to calm and control vehicle traffic, bringing the cost up to a million or more dollars next year. The amount of calls and emails that we get about different intersections uh, across my ward and quite frankly across the entire city um, is continuing to mount. Public safety was also among issues at the top of the list. A couple of council members pitching prioritizing MPD recruitment and retention. There were also more than a handful of non-traditional safety projects on the table, some in need of continued funding, and others, like a Dinky Town initiative called Dinky After Dark, would be new. Basically, this is building upon the success that we're seeing with actually Warehouse District Live. Housing and homelessness were also major themes. A couple of council members advocating for money to support the city's Avivo Tiny Home Shelter and build a second one, which has been proposed before, but hasn't made it off the ground. A few council members also expressing concern over the amount of new project recommendations fearing they will ultimately conflict with another top priority, which is not to raise property taxes. This is uh, the number one priority on my list for the budget, and it is because uh, areas like North Minneapolis definitely feel the burden, bur the burden of property tax increases. I will echo Councilmember Vita. I, I will be a broken record on this, and I'm going to continue being a broken record on this. Austerity budgets aren't about cutting, they're about prioritizing. I should note, too, that council members noted today that they expect to be going into the next fiscal year with more than $20 million in deficit. So that was a big consideration and that concern. Council members have to approve their recommendations to send to the mayor's office by the end of the month, and he gets the final call on those budget recommendations expected to be officially approved later in December. Live in Minneapolis tonight, Renee Cooper, 5 Eyewitness News.